Conservation is the profession which preserves and in some cases restores what we call cultural material. So that could be anything from the gun we found at Eureka to an Arthur Street and painting to a rare book to Ned Kelly's armour, all sorts of materials that are um, need conservation, they can be quite modern or quite old. And conservators often work in museums or archives or libraries or galleries. And I think people often see conservation as a bit of a recipe. I'm often asked, oh, what's the magic solution to clean this or clean that? And conservation really isn't about that. It's about understanding the chemistry of the materials that an artifact's made from and the chemistry of what sort of deterioration is happening and the chemistry of the materials and chemicals and tools that you might use to halt that deterioration and to stabilise an artefact. So that um, often when people excavate artefacts illegally, whether they're from shipwrecks or from land sites, they often say to us, oh, it looked fine when I bought it up, and then it fell to pieces and I threw it out. And that's an all too common and sad story, and each time that happens, another bit of Victoria's archaeological heritage is lost because, in fact, conservation can be a very difficult and quite specialised task. Conservators usually study for a number of years and then have to do a science degree and then have experience after that. And it's not something that can be sort of easily conveyed quickly in, a, in the form of a recipe. So from a conservation point of view, it's actually a lot better for artefacts to be left in their environment, you know, whether it's on the shipwreck or buried in the ground because they've become st stabilised with respect to that environment, as with the pistol in the mine shaft covered with clay, it's stabilised now in its oxygen-free environment. Now it's been excavated, it becomes unstable, and if it doesn't get the right sort of attention, it can fall apart and be lost. So that um, it's very important that people um, don't attempt conservation processes themselves because it can lead to harm to them or the artifacts.